All right, let's go. I want to make a few things clear. Uh, first few being that I turned down being in the 100 Thieves deal, and I chose to leave to it. Um, I'm not doing YouTube for the money or the clout. I don't like that word, but I've got to use it. It's not fame. It's just it's clout, internet clout. I'm not doing it for either one of those things, and um, I got serious issues with four of the people in the six members of the group, um, not counting Cash and Mitchell. I got, I got respect for them, but the rest of them, no. And for anybody thinking I'm making this video for money or clout, you are sadly mistaken because I walked away from so much money. You guys have no idea. So much money and uh, so much clout too. Yeah, I'm I'm just confused on like if if they're going to like try to make a response to this, dude. To say that like Mopey just for no reason just decide to make up all this shit and just like leave the group and leave money and all this shit. Like how are you like what is your response is like if your response is not like just apologizing like like what are you even going to say to this like dude if if, if they're if they if they try to manipulate bro again if there's some bullshit again dude oh my god i i <laughs> I don't, I don't know when this, this, this could end. I don't know. Because I don't, I'm not about, like, I could have faked it. I could have faked it and gone along with everything and been a part of 100 Thieves. I would have loved to be a part of 100 Thieves. Uh, and that would have been a lot of money, too. But, um, no, I'm, I'm not doing it for those reasons. I'm doing YouTube for fun, and being around those guys is not fun. Knowing all I do now about the group... I would not be able to like have pride within myself and be happy knowing I'm staying with these guys knowing all that they have done so I am yeah I'm, I'm leaving I'm, I'm doing I have no clue what I'm gonna do but I am not being around those people and getting into does that sound like somewhat familiar bro dude what did I literally say to you guys I was like bro I just don't want to be around them, bro. I don't want to be around them, dude. When I was living in that house, it was fucking horrible. To talking about everything, um, they sent me a cease and desist letter. So I do need to be careful. Guys. We didn't even talk about this. Did we? Did we talk about this? I know I haven't streamed in in, 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 I've streamed once in two weeks, but, dude, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? This was literally just from Mopey saying L-Hype once on Twitter. And you get a cease and desist. After uh, Jesser made that video saying that he's fighting demons and all this shit, which is so fucked up. We're going to get to that, bro. But let's let's keep going. Cool with what I'm saying because they're threatening to sue me. I've literally only said L-Hype and I'll be making a video and they're already sending me a cease and desist letter. Like, what does that tell you? Like, they're just, they're willing to do and say anything. I'll be going into a lot more later about that, but... Yeah, I'm going to be talking about a lot. So I need to make it very clear that I'm still legally a part of 2 I have left the production side. I am technically still part of the group until formal corporate matters are resolved. So that is why so much of this video is very vague, but continuing on. But a big picture, and if you don't care to sit through the entire video, which I, which I hope you do, because, you know, I hope, I hope not to make it too long. But there's a lot to possibly take away from this and just know about the online scene. But I've just been um, completely used, uh, just uh, used, used and abused, uh, like Jesus used online. My my mopey personality, um, 
and abused like as Tyler like everybody just forgetting about Tyler and only caring about Mopey and Mopey showing up for the videos everybody just just doesn't care about Tyler and um they were they're gonna say otherwise like when I put out my tweet they all just tried saying they helped me out more than anyone showing texts of support like all that stuff but no I'm not I'm not having some fake agenda like that like fake agenda that went out with like TD and Lowe's go out there like I'm saying the truth so again nothing to talk about with Cash and Mitchell they're good people but um yeah going into each one of the individuals that I have issues with I'll start out with Jesser because everybody's probably wondering like wasn't that your friend since elementary school it's like yeah he was he's gone though it's just Jesser there is no Jesse and um he's been doing some really nasty stuff that um I don't ever care to see him again or talk to him again first of which that happened more recently but I'll get into stuff that happened over the year and past years but and Chris Chris was supporting this too and but Jesse saying I'm fighting serious serious demons and he's worried about me and basically just painting me out to be like mentally unstable because I dude I need to talk about this he's going through a lot mentally been fighting some serious serious demons y'all are fueling someone who's not okay now, I've talked to Mopey okay um You guys have seen this video, but we'll get to the part in the video where he really goes into this. But to say this shit, dude, if someone is actually fighting demons or isn't, both is fucked up. Both is fucked up. And you know what's especially fucked up? Is that you know that... He's not like some like deranged mental patient. But you're still saying, yeah, y'all are feeling someone who's not okay. And trying to get these kids to think this about your friend. This is someone who you apparently care so much about. You apparently care so much about. But you want people to think of him like this. Even if it's true or not true. But it being not true is even worse. I don't know who told him to do this. I, I, I don't know if he just decided to do this. I don't know if this was planned. I don't know what this strategy is. But it gets worse, bro. It gets worse. But this, that... Dude, that sentence, y'all are fueling someone who's not okay, that pisses me off, dude. That literally pisses me the fuck off, dude. Seriously, that pisses me off. And he's worried about me and basically just painting me out to be, like, mentally unstable because I put out my L-Hype tweet. Like, I can't, I can't describe how I feel about the manipulation and, like, the disgust for what he's doing. I never thought that getting into YouTube years down the line, I would be having my own brother manipulated by Jesser and tried to be used against me as a manipulation strategy. And dude, fuck that. Do you guys remember when I originally said my shit like a year or year and a half or whenever the fuck it was? And then Jesser made like a, a long ass like notepad tweet about me. Saying that I was just, just literally calling me a liar. Say, literally saying the old and the tall guy are like the nicest people in the, that he's ever met. And then he deleted it. I just remember that shit too, actually, now. I just remember that fucking shit, bro. Anything to just keep making the group look good so you can keep making videos, bro. by him to think to make people think that he cares about dude if anyone has that screenshot please dm it to me on twitter it's an old ass screenshot from last year when this shit happened but i know someone's got it it's either in a video someone had to have screenshot this shit i mean that he's reaching out to my family to support me like 
it, it, I can't even like it's it's crazy. It, I can't I can't I'm speechless. I don't know how to form words right now because it's so ridiculous. After I saw Jesse talk about my brother in his video and my mom too, uh, which is a hundred percent not okay with me. Um, I texted my brother and this is what he said. So remember, Chad, this is after Je uh, Jesser made this video and then said all that shit like, oh, you're fueling someone who's not okay. I'm worried about you. I talked to your brother for an hour on the phone. Like, he's worried about you. You're hiding shit. I'm calling your mom. All this shit. Reach out to me. Um... Uh, uh, Moby was like, it's all good, bro. He did some weird shit with mom too. He's so fucked up. Check out the first minute. I just saw it. I'm upset because he called me yesterday and he said he wanted to keep everything offline. Yet he posts a video the next day and includes me in it. He told me about all the hate he's been getting. So he's just trying to make himself look better. I'm sorry. And this is, this is Mopey's own brother, bro. Wait, someone has the screenshot. Ooh, people are coming in clutch. No, that's no. Never mind. I thought I thought that someone sent it, but it was just this. That was that was. So yeah, if you do have it, um, if you do have it, send me it. But yeah, this is fucked up. And then he was like, "I talked to your brother for an hour yesterday," and he was. Th <laughs> <laughs> this is just funny. This is just like, okay, yeah, like just lying and exaggerating. Uh, I can't imagine. TD has it? TD, what's up? Did you DM it? Or text it? Dude, my stomach. Dude, that's another thing with Corona, bro. My stomach. Oh my God, bro. Anyone else who's who's got it? Did your stomach hurt? Because my shit, dude. Holy fuck. For no reason, my stomach hurts. Yeah, let me VIP TD so I know when he types. Mine was hurting for a minute, bro. My shit, dude. Fuck, man. All right, well, if I get it, Oh, wait, wait, oh, shit. TD just sent me a picture. Oh, my. Oh, I remember this one, bro. Hey, I'm going to pull it up on stream. I'm going to pull this shit up on stream, bro. Where's TD at? Okay, let's see this shit. Uh, Can you guys see this? I'll zoom in if you need me to. There we go. Regarding recent events, let's move forward now. There's been a lot of false information spread recently by Los. First of all, saying TD was kicked out of the group because he had to take care of his mom is not true. Bro. Bro. Wait a second. When in the actual fuck did I ever say this? There are many personal reasons and relationships that I'm not going to go into that created awkward tension with the group and would never have worked moving forward. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. TD, you should have put this in the video. Because TD was like, oh, I never had a problem with Jess. Like, nothing ever happened. I don't, I don't know what happened. And I thought this wasn't personal, though. TD lived close to us for a decent amount of time after that. And as you could see by the videos in the past... He was also not around. As for Los, I've been nothing but good to this man since the day I met him. Always try to help him be involved and active. Los moved out and said he would come over once a week to film. He came once. 
once out of months we are a group that makes videos together how can we move forward with that this is a business if you don't show up you're not gonna stick around he didn't even come for chris's birthday i'm not att attempting to spread any negative but he's talking crazy about my best friends old guy is one of the most genuine people he has literally helped raise me and the shit he's saying about him is very messed up dude i don't believe that he wrote this i don't believe he wrote this i don't believe he wrote this you know why i don't believe he wrote this because first of all, it's deleted now. Second, why would J why would Jester be sitting here like, oh, dude, he didn't even go to Chris's birthday? What what is this thing with this birthday? Bruh, old ha always wanted the best for Los. He got him to move to California to move out and join us. I don't even know what that means. I lit I literally don't know what got him to move. Like I don't know what that means. Chris is trying to help Los more than anyone, but you guys will never see the behind the scenes and what actually happens. So why is this deleted then? If this is if this is just straight facts, why is this deleted? And dude, it, it's crazy because, bro, saying the shit about the kicking the. Dude, is this where that came from? TD was kicked out of the group because he had to take care of his mom. It's simply not true. Like, is this where that came? Like, because I remember saying that the reason he couldn't make videos and, and, and all that shit was because he had to take care of his mom. Bro, that's crazy. I just remembered this, bro. I just remembered this, dude. Um, and then saying that I came over once is is literally a lie. That's just not true. Cause off the top of my head, I can think of two times. Um, just off the top of my head, like literally doing like uh that deal or no deal video. I remember I went there and I didn't live there, and then I remember I went there to do the sumo wrestler. Um. I'm sure there's other times too. I, I mean, that's just off the top of my head. But so right there, that's two times. But saying that I, but literally saying once. <sighs> oh, what do you mean unban Woofy? She's not banned. Oh, it might be blacklist. I think I, I gotta check my blacklist. Just don't just don't spam the name because it's it's I gotta check my blacklist shit, bro. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll I'll take care of that. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, that's is this was this like a copy paste and everyone tweeted this or were there more screenshots? I remember there being more people uh other screenshots. But, all right, let's just keep going. All right, let's get back to it. It was for him to be talking to Jesser, and, like, they've never talked to But also, you know what pisses me off about these, like, these, like, things? These, like, copy-paste or, like, the notes, whatever? It's like, no one, like, will admit anything or, like, actually be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, these guys... Like, dude, we literally have already seen the proof that they've talked shit about me. Like, we've already seen this. And then there's other shit I can't prove about, like, in-person conversation and saying shit about me, right? 
in that thing, he literally wrote that these are the nicest guys, the most genuine guys, and just called me a liar when I said they talked shit about me. Like, no wonder he fucking deleted this shit, bro. Before, and he's trying to make it out like he was trying to help me by talking to him on the phone, and then he just said online, like, he's, like, it, I, I don't even know what to say, and, and the, the eyes, too, like, he probably just rubbed his eyes and started to just get watery eyes, it, like, it's, it's an act, it's all manipulation act, he <laughs> does not care, he only cares because he wants to uphold his online image, that's all he cares about, that's all they, that's all, all that's all they, that's all they all care about, that's it, and they'll say and do anything to keep that. I gotta take accountability for not being- Wait, they're losing subs fast? Is that true? They're losing subs fast. Are you trolling? Oh wait, TD sent, sent me another picture. Dude, TD got all the receipts. bro who tweeted this bro td who tweeted this the robe okay so the robot <laughs> okay here we go I'm, I'm sure this has also been deleted I'm shocked and appalled. <laughs> I'm shocked and appalled about the false allegations being thrown towards my roommates and good friends. Tall and old. When I first met old, I was struggling college kid who the day I met him helped me with a difficult assignment and gave it his all? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Did, did your homework? What am I? What am I reading? Old is constantly helping others and doing a lot of things behind the scenes. Like all, all of L hype. We're not here to gloat about the charitable things we do off YouTube. We put out basketball videos. Oh, here we go. As for Chris, calling Chris a snake is extremely upsetting. Oh my. God. Mm. Tall guy like me is very candid in person and some people can't handle others being up front with them. Calling he or old a snake because of out of context text messages is both childish and immature. Out of context text messages? Wait a second. Out of context text messages. Dude, this is deleted too. Is this deleted too? Chris is my go-to guy when I need advice and he's helped me grow as a creator and a person. I wouldn't be here without him. I'm seeing a lot of people talk about how to hype is a friend group. The reality of the situation is being an online personality is a job. When people are not accountable, it affects your personal relations with them. There's a reason people say you don't mix family and business. Thankfully, the group we have now is able to toe the line, but no matter what tension is created, it's natural. So what happened to Mopey? Is Mopey lying too? Is this all just, this is just made up? Where's the, where's the paragraph about Mopey? But do you see how much I was getting painted as like just and TD about just not accountable and just all these like just negative things. And like, I never said a thing about the robot. This is 2019. Dude, I know. What are you guys? Guys. Guys. We know that it's from 2019. 
guys? Why are you saying, dude, it's 2019? We're literally talking about when, when I got kicked. These are the things that they put out there. Oh, because I said, what about Mopey? Oh, no, because I'm saying now, I'm like, oh, well, dude, like, <laughs> if, if it's all everything, everything's good, right? Well, then what happened to Mopey, though? If everything's so good. I can say a bunch of things about what happened, but to be honest, it's not a huge soap drama. This is being played up like it's Game of Thrones. It's not. People moved, distance was created, and relationships deteriorated. I love hanging with T. Los Mountain. Even if things are rocky now, I genuinely wish them nothing but the best and hope this uncalled for animosity passes. The robots in Discord? Dude, I wish. Oh my god, I wish. Alright, let's go. That was a little detour. That's a little detour. We're back. Being entirely open with how bad things were with me this year but I was open enough and things were visible enough to see that I needed help and Jesse was never there for me Jesser it's not even Jesse anymore it's just Jesser was never there for me and when I talked to him in person and he said I hugged him and tried to use it against me whatever like he he hugged me I wish I said just like I don't get away like whatever but yeah um he he asked he he asked me what my goal was with LIB tweet and if I wanted a bag, like he wasn't going there to check on me or really talk to me. He was trying he was and he he made me feel bad. He tried to make me feel bad about the hate he was getting, like it's it's ridiculous. Like and the fact that he tries using the rent that he helped me out with and that he helped me out with my channel in the first place, and he uses that against me to like keep me under his thumb. It's terrible it's not friendship i that's not a friend because of all the stuff that's been happening i i wish i never took his help and i almost wish i didn't go and go move into the youtube house in your belinda i wish i just went to college sometimes and didn't get like this deeply involved in any of this because how bad it's turned trust out trust me bro i wish i didn't go to fucking your belinda bro trust me bro trust me dude like i've, I've literally just been a pawn I feel like to his grind to 10 million subscribers, like he, yeah, he helped me out with that stuff, but it's all because he just needs people around him to make videos and um, supporting that feeling that I have of being just used. Um, when we made the VR channels, he took 51% of my VR channel. Like all those channels were just started up for money because the VR channels were the fastest growing at the time. He took 51% of my channel and then bragged about it. Dude, I trying to be neutral and look at it, it's like, oh, okay, you know what? It's somebody helping uh, someone out, right? Just grow their channel or whatever. This is your friend. This is your elementary school friend. You're entitled to more than half of his money? Dude, it's either you want to help someone or not, dude. Like, how, dude. How much money does one person need? And this, this is, this just goes for all of them. Like, how much? You're taking 51% and then he's, and then Mopey. He told me this shit um, before I saw this video. Um, how he heard um, Jesser bragging about it. Bragging. Imagine you overhear your friend bragging about owning your channel. <laughs> like, dude, would you fuck with them? Like, would you be cool with them? It's just, like why like you're like dude oh, my God, bro. I think dude I, I really feel bad for Mopey bro because I 
I just feel like I just feel like he was just just treated wrong. I d I don't know. I just feel like he was just treated wrong and just like, oh no, like that's just mopey. Like you know what I mean? Like I just feel like they were like that's how he was treated, bro. It's just growing at the time. He took fifty one percent of my channel and then bragged about it. Like I heard that, and he'll deny that or whatever, but that shit stuck in my brain and i could never believe how this dude can say that about his friend elementary school friend that he owns like his channel and like that's something to brag about like it, it, it's like nothing i want to be around and another story too just how like selfish this dude is and actually all the guys this applies to all of them but we were in a Discord call when it was time for Moochie to join too. I, we were talking, and I put, I was, I was put it out there. I was like, "Hey, is anybody else willing to give up a percent or two so Mitchell feels more part of the group?" Ah, nobody wanted to. He's just on a tiny salary now. Mitchell doesn't own a percent of two. I, Jesser was not willing to get hold on someone just wrote in the chat so i know there's some little little l hypes in here someone just wrote in the chat los is shellfish you misspelled selfish and you wrote that i'm shellfish what the hell did i even do like what literally what the fuck did i do to even warrant that comment. No, he didn't say I'm a shellfish. He said I'm shellfish. Let's keep going, bro. Who doesn't own a percent of 2A? Jesser was not willing to give up 1% for our elementary school friend. One of the dudes that adds the most to the group. Pure good person funny entertainment these guys and jesser could not give up one percent for him we could have all given up a percent we could have had six percent or two like that would have been that sounds amazing to me but no he's just on a tiny salary because they can because it's a business it's not for fun it's not for fun or friendship it's a business so what i'm getting from this bro is that and and i and i did some research and i went back and i saw some of this video of when they like brought him in to the group. And one thing I noticed was they were like, oh, like you guys wanted this. Like we see the comments. So I, what I'm guessing what happened was that their friend Moochie was doing videos with them. And everyone was like, dude, dude, he's in all the videos. Like bring him into the group, like whatever. And then they were like, oh, let's, that would be like a banger video. Let's like bring him in the group. But he's not really in the group. Like he doesn't really own a percentage like they do. So like they were, they just thought of it as like, oh, oh this will be like a, like a good, like, uh, this will make us look good. Like, let's just like, just say he's in the group, but like, he's not really in the group, but all the fans are like, oh my God, like, yes, like he's in it. Finally, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's literally fucked up. And no one knew this. No, th This is Mopey just exposed that. So like... Man, I... I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Like, Jesus, bro. It's just like, oh, like what could be like a banger video? He doesn't even own 1%, but he's in the group, but he doesn't own... I mean, listen, I, I don't know. I don't know how, how this shit works, bro. Um, I don't know, but that just doesn't sound... That just doesn't sound right to me. And the thing that makes it so annoying is they try to paint it as not a business, and it's all about the friendship and all of them doing it for fun. It's like, no, stop being so, like... Stop trying to keep the greediness and selfishness in the dark. Like, that's what's aggravating for the people that have been abused by it. Like, own up to the shit. Like, stop lying. Like, it, like it's so bad. Like, like the Sidemen are a great example. Like, they're a wannabe Sidemen. 
but they're terrible people. Like, what else would you expect from a wannabe Sidemen group from L.A.? Like, it's bound to be fake as hell, just greedy, selfish, self-gain, like, all of that. So, Sidemen... It's like, dude... I I, I, I don't know at this point how you can defend these guys. This is Mopey, literally the fucking nicest person saying this. Like, how could you, how can you watch this and then be like, no, you know what? Mopey is fucking, he's bullshitting, dude. And everyone else, TV, Lowe's, everyone who's talked about this shit, they're all lying. Everyone's lying. And and, and, it, and it's like a conspiracy theory. Sidemen are amazing because they're genuine. They're, they're, they do stuff fair. They don't abuse people on the business side. I like, I found out some stuff on the business side that's like, Dude, I heard that the sidemen are all, like, split their shit equally. Like, even though, like, KSI is, like, the biggest person or whatever, like, they all split it th th equal. I heard that. I don't know if it's true. People have said that shit, though. Um, and I've seen, like, some, some video shit. Dude, you know how massive KSI is, bro? This dude's fucking huge. He's bigger than, like, everyone combined on the, on the fucking sidemen. I'm pretty sure. Um... But it's just is equal, cause they're friends. It's a friend group. What the hell? I don't care about the money like that, but I want to be treated equal. I want to be treated with respect, and that didn't happen. Like they're just not. They're just like they're not humans. They're they're not real people anymore. They have ascended past humans, and normal people, and they are YouTube gods. They are YouTube gods now, and they um they just they just make decisions. Like um I heard. That, uh, Jesse, Jesse <laughs> what did TD just write? When we start our group, everything will be equal. Oh, okay, T T C TD's fucking stirring it up, bro. He he's stirring it up. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> TD, someone's gonna make like a twenty-minute breakdown video of like me reading that comment. All right, let's keep going. Her and Chris were talking to TD about kicking me out of the old house in your Linda because I was like hanging out with my ex-girlfriend or um, I was just not uploading enough. I never knew that. Just like Lowe's and TD didn't know they were kicked and, and Mal too, they didn't know they were kicked until it was already a decision. They don't feel the need to like have normal conversations. They just make terrible decisions on their own like, and it's just it's a good way it, to put it. There, it's nothing to be around unless you're a part of a part of it and wanna just. I don't even know. I'm gl I'm so glad I'm out of it. And, and the weird thing is too, they're in denial. Like they're just so deep in their own lies and just thinking that they're right and everyone else is just the bad people going out out to get them. It's like something something he said to me was, all change is good change. It's like. So nobody can get lost in the money in the, the internet clout. Nobody can lose themselves. That's not a thing. Like, I've seen how this dude. What? Low should start a group called Wide Men because he's wide. All right, get this dude. Get the L hypes out the chat, bro. Please, please. Like, what are we doing? What the fuck are we doing tonight? We're not making a group called Wide Men. This is bullshit. Talks to people, like his, like editors and people out in public, like working people, and it makes me sick. It's like again, just YouTube gods like looking down on people, talking down on people, talking shit about people, because apparently they feel like they can. Like apparently they feel like they're the next American sideman and they could do whatever they want. It's like, it is their heads are just, their heads are gonna fall off. They're getting so big and they can't. Like, I can't, I don't even, I'm making, I'm trying to make a joke, so that I can't, even, <laughs> I can't, I don't know. Another situation that stands out in my mind is we were, we were out eating, it was Chester, a friend of ours, and, and me, and we were at Cheesecake Factory, eating outside. We didn't even have our food yet, and Chester sees this kid, like, walk by or whatever, and we can kind of see when someone's kind of, like, looking back and might recognize us, and he's like, 
just begging for the kid to not like walk over and say hi and it's like it's a little kid and his dad like and Jester's just begging like no please don't come over here like leave us alone no like I swear and it's like this kid it's probably gonna make this kid's day at at least day probably week dude I'm not gonna lie bro um It's not, like, so much of not wanting to get, like, seen in public. and Because that's normal. People who get recognized a lot, like, you know, that could be, like, a, oh, maybe. You don't. But, like, the mindset of, like, oh, my God, please don't come near me. Like, oh, like it's, like, dude, I don't know about you guys. Like, me, like, if somebody recognizes me and, and they, like, they're, like, showing love. Like, they want to take a picture. They want to meet me. Like, I want to make that person's day. Like, I want to be like, yo, like, what's up? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want them to, like, have, like, a good impression of me. You know what I mean? Like, I want them to know, like, I'm not, like, a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like that's how, like, most people, like, react to, like, fans walking up to them. Um, but unless you know, you don't care about other people. Then you just like, you're like, oh my God, this fucking kid. Meanwhile, what? Oh, this fucking kid. He, what if he, what if he's bought your fucking merch? Like, this, what if this dude, what if this dude supports you? He watches your shit. What if this guy retweets all your tweets? No. Some, some of these dudes online, bro, they just look at all you guys like numbers. They just look at you like a, no, you're just a number. Like, that's the sad reality of how some, most people, not most, but a lot of people online, this is how they look at people. They're just, they just look at it like numbers, bro. Um, it's fucked up. It's fucked. You literally yelled at me when I asked for a pic, what the fuck? That's never happened. Dude, I've literally been rejected. A guy walked up to me in the mall. I'm with my fucking... I'm with, I'm with my stepsister, right? This is one of the first times we're out, like, in, 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 in public. Like, chilling. We're in the mall. We're walking in. He goes, yo, boss, what's up? I'm like, yo, what's good, bro? He's like, yo, that's crazy. I'm like, you want to take a picture? He's like, nah, I'm good, but yo, it's nice meeting you. And, like, walked away. You know how embarrassing that was? So, like, I'm going out my way trying to be, like, oh, yeah. Meanwhile, there's dudes who got millions of followers who are like, oh, God, this fucking, oh, this fucking little, oh, God. Meanwhile, this dude has, is, has your fucking, he's wearing your merch. Jesus, bro. This kid, it's probably going to make this kid's day, at, at least day, probably a week. Or for something like that, just meeting Jesser. But the other side of it is this dude is begging for him to not come over and say hi. Chris put this in Jesser, like that he's better and doesn't need to like talk to the people that support him. And it's like it's it's nasty. And I feel I feel bad as a friend that I couldn't help stop that happening. But he was just living with Chris and Zach for so long that like these terrible attitudes about. Just life just completely just changed this dude. And okay, dude. Obviously, this is like some speculation shit. And if anyone we should listen to is Mopey, who's who's friends and known Jesser before all this shit, and now, right? Dude, is it is it not weird as like a sixteen year old or like what is it sixteen seventeen? To live with, like, a 30-year-old man, like, alone, like, at night, like, is that just, like, that's just weird. That's just creepy. Like, that's just weird. Is it not weird? Like, that's weird, right? Like, for me, like, I would never let my, my son or daughter, 
um, be like living with some like older person, especially two. Um, and dude, just like, just knowing how like I was treated and how I was talked to and how I was tricked into believing we're friends. And then, and then like all this shit, bro, like these are not good people <laughs> and they're fucking raising a, 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 a kid. So I think there's, I think there's, there's, um, I think Mopey's saying actual valid things. I, and, and if I'm going to trust someone, it's going to be somebody who's known this person from before, during, and, and now, um, he, he's known him since elementary school. Just, just life just completely just changed this dude. And, and then thinking it's okay to paint me as mentally unstable online just because I'm saying, like, I'm saying F the group, L hype, and he's trying to, like, it's just so mind boggling how, like, what happened. And it's really sad, but I, um, I'm just getting away from it. I'm not gonna rack my brain over trying to change people. They're just so deep in their own ways. It's like, I'm just leaving, I'm not being a part of it. Moving on to Jidel, um, this dude has just treated me like trash for so long now. Um, in the videos and outside of the videos, this um, this attitude that he would have in my videos of not giving a shit, like he would put a smile on for his videos, this a snap like that, and for my videos he would just look like he does not want to be there and just acts like a terrible, just a terrible person just to have in the videos and. Um, yeah, I, I talked to Jesse about this, and he said he noticed it, that he actually treats my videos, not even other people's, like specifically mine, less than others, and cares less. I talked to Chris about it too, he said the same thing that he noticed it, and um, when I tried talking to Jidel about it, he said, I'm sorry, or he said, he said he noticed it, and then he's sorry, but in this video, I was looking off to the side at Mitchell off camera, Da, 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 just like excuses like I didn't confront him about this issue for a while that's on me that's on me that I let it go on again but it was just I've, I've been I'll go into some stuff later but yeah I've just been pushing off a lot of my issues and that was one of them and um, it just really goes to show that this dude was low-key hating on me for a while because this same situation happened and dude another thing with with, with being ar around certain type of people like, when you constantly have to bring up, like, oh, like, dude, why are you being like this? Or, like, I don't like when you do this shit. Or, like, when you're constantly saying stuff, but then people keep doing it, um, you start to think, like, you're like, oh, like, I'm being, like, a pussy. Or, like, oh, I'm, like, it's, I'm the problem. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like... And so, like, people like that, bro, are the worst type of people. Like, they're the worst type of people to be around. Um, you know, like, all of my friends, like, if I say something to them, or they say something to me, like, that's what, that's, like, what it is. There's no, like, uh, there's no, like, uh, no, there's no, it's, it's just, like, Oh shit, yo, my bad, or like some shit like that, you know? Um, but but when I was in that shit, bro, it's like this thing that like makes you feel like, no, you're fucking wrong. Like you're the wrong one. Like and 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 it it literally like makes you fucking like depressed, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like this shit makes you like it makes you like that. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's keep going. goes to show that this dude was low-key hating on me for a while because this same situation happened back at the Yorba Linda house where I said, can you please act better in my videos? Like, try to care more. Years down the line, it's happening again over like a six-month period. I don't know how long. Just a really long time. And it's like this dude's like 25 years old and puts on a smile every single time for his own intros. And then he wants to like act like he forgets to put a smile on for my videos and not like own up to it. And it's not even like it was just about the videos. Like he would talk down to me as a person. Like he's just, 
And if you look at his tweets, the way he tweets, this dude thinks he's just on another level and he's super intelligent or something. <laughs> like, and it makes me. Uh, dude, yeah, me... we know, bro. We know. You, you see the you see the robots getting spammed in the chat. We know. Like hate. Like I'm not being a part of a group where some dude was low key hating on me. Like I'm not ever supporting that guy again in my life, and. That's not a person I want to be friends with. And you, you guys shouldn't want to be friends with someone that makes everything a competition and wants to take things away from you that you've done. This is this is kind of petty stuff, but just, just like examples. Like when I broke his ankles, he made a whole video saying I didn't break his ankles. Wait, dude, I, I was like, dude, if I watch this on stream, I want to look up this video. Let's look this up. Because I he didn't show a clip of this and I want to see... Like, I want to see if this is, like, an actual... Let me... See, hold on. Uh, ankle break. Reacting to ankle break? Good. Oh, my God. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on, bro. Wait, let's see this. Good morning, y'all. Okay, <laughs> chat. Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't want any... We're going to watch this specifically for research purposes okay specific research purposes here we go today i'm in a vlogging mood so i'm just gonna pick up the vlog right where i left off on wednesday and today is a big sad day our little guy cookie he's getting some surgery today he is getting his nose widened or something like that to help his breathing doesn't have the best breathing oh is this it whoa my camera's trapped I really shouldn't have been playing, and oh, Jesse's shit. video. Ned. Now a lot of you have probably seen the ankle breaker in Jesse's video. There's nothing more lame than when you get broken. You say it wasn't an ankle. Bro, he got ketchup on his face. The fuck. Ankle breaker in Jesse's video. There's nothing more lame than when you get broken. You say it wasn't an ankle breaker. But I'm about to be kind of lame. Before that video, I had a lot of pain in my foot, the top left part of my foot, and I really shouldn't have been playing. And what happened on the play, quick replay, for those of you who haven't seen it. I'm about to get soft. I can As you can see, I did actually land normal. My foot landed normal, and then immediately it picks up and I just fall. In the moment, what actually happened was my foot like kind of gave out. I don't know, it really hurt. Like it really, really- You mean he broke your shit? What? what? You mean Mopey broke your shit? The fuck you mean? Yeah, that's what happens when your shit gets broke. He broke your shit. What are we even? What are we even talking about right now? Look at this. Look. Look at this guy. Foot, not ankle. What? Bro, can we? Hold on a second. He said he lands normal. My foot landed normal, and then immediately it picks up, and I just fall. In the moment, what actually happened was my foot like kind of gave out. I don't know. It really hurt. Like it really, really hurt. I don't know if in the rest of the video you can see me on the sideline. It's hard to tell what I'm doing. I was icing my foot. It looks like I had a really bad ankle pro Bro. problem. But what do you mean you landed normal? Your fucking ankle got fucking busted. Sideline. It's hard to tell what I'm doing. I was icing my foot. It looks like I had a really bad ankle. Bro, yeah, he didn't oil. He didn't oil. He didn't oil up. He didn't oil it. He did not oil it before the before the game the video you can see me on the sideline it's hard to tell what i'm doing i was icing my foot it looks like i had a really bad ankle problem but i actually never like landed with my foot kind of like that my foot went into that weird ankle state while i wasn't actually putting pressure on the ground my foot kind of gave out so i'm going to go see the foot doctor tomorrow morning so that'll be in this vlog we'll find out what my injury was he's <laughs> he literally got injured off this I'm hoping it's nothing bad. Everything I'm reading it could be seems kind of bad So I'm praying I don't have to miss a lot of time, but my foot has not felt good since that day Am I left? Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, cuz Mopey broke your shit Dude, this dude really went to a doctor to prove that it wasn't Mopey who broke his ankle It was it was like this injury that he had last video what I said I'd be doing for my apps from YouTube is just making shoes Obviously, I was doing some other things too. I've been grinding. If you're, I'm out. No. So, all right. Well, that I wanted to look that up, and I'm glad I did. That was that was literally worth it. So, thank you for that gem, Mopey. Like, when I broke his ankles, he made a whole video saying I didn't break his ankles. Mm, hoodies have been my thing since 
like elementary school and I've made multiple hoodie collection videos and he still wants to say he has better hoodies than me. Like you can't just have custom shoes. He needs to have hoodies as well. That needs to be his thing too. And it's like, I'm not being friends with someone that's Loki hating on me and tries to. Dude, I, oh my God, bro. Like that's such like a shitty trait to have as a person. It's like a, it's like a jealous type like you need all the attention like you, it's like a really just shitty trait to have bro it's just really shitty i get what he's saying it, it's 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 bad it's bad to devalue things i've done like why would i ever want to be friends with someone like that it's the, in in the craziest thing about it too and this just it's it's insane is that i was jesse's elementary school friend guys stop with the error with the robot please bro okay we're past that clip stop saying error 404 bruh someone said he needs to reboot okay bro <laughs> friend this is a brother treating his brothers or this is a dude treating his brothers elementary school friend with such disrespect like like i can't like great great brother to do that like i don't even know what to say like i'm just getting out of there here's some clips to show what i'm talking about Not i love him if he just he says this a bunch of times to me he's like dude i'm out of there bro i'm just getting out of there dude i'm fucking out like it's just the funniest shit after how long it's gonna take but check this out and keep in mind too that this happened at the yorba linda house two years ago and it happened again yo what's good guys it's chai down yo what is good guys yo what's good guys it's chai down 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 what's up you guys it's mopey today i'm here with everyone in the house what we got going on today is some two-hype dodgeball what's up you guys it's mopey today i'm here with jesse mitchell and james what we got going on today is another story time <laughs> video yee yeah, yee yeah. The theme for this one is going to be stranded on a boat in the ocean. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Okay. All right, let's get started. If you guys haven't wow. seen this series before, you guys will understand it really easily. Basically, I'm going to say... What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, we were Jesse, Zach, Chris, Mitchell, and James. What we got going on today is another guest at NBA... What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, I'm here with Mitchell, James, and Jesse. <laughs> what we're doing today is some Roomba fighting. I know you guys love the Roomba fighting, so we're playing that, but a little bit of a change up. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, I have everyone here and Mitchell. Hey, guys. Two at plus Mitchell. <laughs> what we're going to be doing. Who's <laughs> is so. Uh... <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to end the video there. Leave your thoughts down below which sport you guys think is better. Shout out to the guys for being in the video. Get... Shout out to the guys for being in the video. Go what check out their doing, channels. Links bro. are in the description. Thank you guys for watching and Mopey out. Guys, these jokes are 20% battery. He needs a charge. Malfunction. He needs an update. Like, guys. Right. Bro, what is he that doing? Was tough. That was really tough. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. We have another tier list video. Today, we're going to be doing YouTubers. Oh, uh, boy. This is, yeah, this should be, this should be interesting. Today we have everyone in the house, Jesse, Chris, Zach, and James. You guys already know how it works. We have oh 25 different uh, Try to, when you're putting it together, like go on, see on this side and go like. Okay. This shit, when I first saw this, this, this pissed me off so bad, bro. So look at Mopey. He's saying he's a camera set up, a GoPro, and he's he's telling him where to sit. He's like, sit here so the camera can see what you're doing. Right? Saying where to sit, not to block the GoPro. Simple. Right? Watch. Okay. Like that. Oh, James, you want to sit there so you don't block it? Like what am I blocking? Oh, the GoPro? Yeah. Dude, the rage that that engulfed my entire body when I first saw this, bro. Bruh. Oh my god, bro. It's it's cause it's not even like just that. It's like that type of just like how they are. And you can just see Mopey just looks defeated. He's just like. You know, but he really wants to be like, yo, fuck you, bro. Like you, but 
but he's getting laughed at. You know, just. Oh, James, you want to sit there so you don't block it? Like what am I said. blocking? Oh, the GoPro? Yeah. <laughs> like a guessing face or whatever. I, I, some people might be like, oh, that's a little thing. I think that's so just fucked up. Like. Are we looking at the TV or camera? Uh, yeah, look at the TV. Yeah, yeah, battery died, bro. This battery died. Battery dead. Literally. That's 1%. Right. Thank you. Oh, shit. I'm gonna eat thing. it right now just to show how much I love crunch. You love crunch so much you put it in the seat here. Oh, <laughs> I don't understand what you mean around the middle. Oh my god, wait, how many do you doing, bro? Bissell, give me more light. What are you doing? Tyler. Yes, I know. You gotta go. What are you doing, Tyler? Fuck! Alright, I'm right here. I'm going to the right. I'm going to the right. No, Mitchell, Mitchell, you gotta go back around. Go back around. Go back around. Look at the top middle. Tyler, do you see what you're doing? Go back around. Go back around. Tyler, what are you doing? Bro, go to the top. Go to the top. Bro, I'm at the bottom. Last one, Mitchell. Come back. Go to the bottom. No, no, no. Close, 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 close. Dude, no, look at the top. Yes! The comeback is on! Don't do what with you yelling me like that. Chill. It's just a game. It's just a game. So that is a representation of how he treated me outside of the videos as well. Like, he overheated. My GoPro for my shot. Like, that is going on, that kind of treatment going on outside of the videos as well. It's not an act. It was just, he just, just disrespect. Like, and I'm not, I'm, no one disrespects me like that and then gains my support again. Like, I'm out. Moving on to Zach, he's just one of the fakest people I know. Like, so manip- <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Dude. I just- I just re um fuck what was I going to say That just that was funny as fuck that threw me off Fuck what was I going to say Oh yeah like how I said Mopey probably wanted to be like yo fuck you dude there were so many times look I remember feeling the same shit where I just wanted to be like yo fuck you or like whatever and there were times when I when I freaked out and and was like yo like fuck you like you uh, don't like disrespect me and shit like that. Like there were times it's just like, dude, it's such a horrible feeling to have that feeling that you like, but like you just, you just can't. It's just like a horrible feeling, bro. And the things he's done to other people, especially Woofy. Um, if you guys don't know, that's Zach's ex. He completely trashed her name on a live stream. I think it happened like twice or something like that. And he got me. To think she was a bad person and she did him wrong when in actuality they make you like hate who they hate and you only hear their side and then once you get out you can hear the other side and be mind blown at how shit actually is because you only hear their manipulative fake side it was the same thing that happened with los and td like from chris and zach i was not wanting to talk to los and td and and whoopie i thought she was she did bad too because the things they said, but they were just untrue to get me to not talk to them and keep the group, just everybody against these people. So they seem like the bad people. She was done so horrifically wrong. Like, and she couldn't even defend herself. She tried, she tried suing for defamation, but that's a really hard thing to win on Twitch. So she just got her name destroyed online. Like she's a good person. The reason I didn't believe it um, fully was because I know that when, when he went on stream saying shit about like, oh, like that was the reason like me and, uh, Los's relationship got fucked up and all that shit. I knew that was bullshit. So I just did, I just like, was like, oh, like I, I like kind of like just didn't believe it. Um, but the people who don't know him personally and all this shit. Like, they, everyone just shit on this girl, bro. Like, everyone just shit on this girl without her side, nothing. Um, just shit on her. Completely. And I encourage you guys to check out her video or the pod, or there's 
not pocket, uh, like VODs, whatever, the, the streams, the highlight streams, like those are out there. Like go hear her side. Don't just listen to Zach's manipulative, terrible side, just throwing her under the bus because he was being lazy with the videos. And I will never look at that dude ever, ever the same again. And other things he's manipulated to me about, like earlier this year, I received terrible jokes from Chris and Zach, like terrible. Like I can't even, I can't even talk about them and caused so much pain like and i was already in such a bad place this year and it's on me that i didn't tell them to stop the only time the joke stopped after a period of time when i said i was taking a mental break and not being a part of videos then they immediately stopped that's that's what it takes for them to stop i guess but hearing those kinds of jokes and that's what zach and chris find hunt find honey find funny um I don't care to be around them in all else that Zach has done. Like, um, like I said, I've had conversation with Mopey. I've heard some of these things and it's like, I'm, I'm not going to be the one to, to say this shit, but you know, if Mopey ever wants to, he will, but yeah, bro. I'm, it, yeah, it's bad, bro. Just seeing how fake in the manipulation, like I tried talking to him about it and he just denied it. And it's like, these guys can't own up to anything. And it makes you feel, like it makes me feel crazy. Like how Los, TD and Woofy and Walker and everybody that's been done by wrong by these people, like are feel crazy in some way. Like, did I do something wrong? In my, like what, like it's no, they try to do that and they make you feel like like they're right and that they didn't do anything. It's terrible. So I encourage you guys to check out Woofy talking about it. Los years ago talked about it. You can see the passion and anger in his voice talking about Chris and Zach because it's so aggravating that kids just go with what these dudes say. So go back and listen to what Los said years ago. TD made an amazing video talking about Chris's terrible 45 minute video and just TD spoke on stuff as well. Like, go check out those things if you don't believe me. Like, the facts are out there. And, like, I don't know what this dude is going to go on live stream. And TD, I saw, bro. I saw, bro. Trust me, dude. I know I know this dude. I, bro, I know, bro. I know this dude's a piece of shit. Don't believe me. Like, the facts are out there. And, like, I don't know what this dude is going to go on live stream and say, but he could say whatever he wants and will say whatever he wants. Facts. Because he's, like protected by twitch and it's hard to sue for defamation so he's going to do and say anything to keep his online image because that's all he cares about yeah that's literally it like to me it doesn't matter what this dude says i'll never ever respect anything that comes out of this guy's mouth ever bro none of these dudes are going to go and work a normal nine to five job again they are going to say whatever they can to keep their online image is including making me seem mentally unstable which jesse chris and zach have already participated in like zach was retweeting like mental illness stuff and it's just like it's such a joke and moving on to chris wait I have never what been... <laughs> bruh i did not know that shit bro wait I thought I thought the tall one did that. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm mixing it up. Been more disrespected in my life than when I talked to Chris and went against something he wanted, which was um him and I had a conversation about the YouTuber trading cards when I said I did not want to be a part of those. Um, I've just I've never been so disrespected as a person before in what I want to just be shit on because it goes against putting money in his pockets and what he wants for his business like i can't i don't even know what to say and the amount of terrible things he's done like it's been talked about a lot but the two hype auditions i'm bringing it up again like yes everyone in the group went with it but that's just because chris is just the ringleader and wants to do what he wants to do and like we we didn't we, nobody really stopped him it's on our that's our fault as well but just the fact that this dude was okay with people taking time out of their day, possibly going to sleep with thoughts about like thinking about joining 2 Ape, when it was never a reality, never a possibility, just all for his 
video entertainment like whatever like it's just nasty like it's so bad and like the mistreatment to other people around him that i know about like i'll never look at this dude the same and he could say like oh he's realized a lot about himself and he's making changes but it's like <laughs> in his tweet saying that he's apologizing for sugar coating stuff he's literally sugar coating even even yeah. mopey's like bro like he said he changed like, how many times can you change like how many times bro it's fucking ridiculous dude it hasn't changed he should have said, I'm sorry for lying to you guys and manipulating you guys. Like, I'm moving on from that. I'm sorry for sugarcoating, which is sugarcoating the lies and manipulation, which are, there are so many out there. Like, he literally had to delete the 45 minute video that he put out because it was so terrible. It was, I can't, I couldn't even watch it. I don't know how Los managed to sit through it, but he tore the video apart, like, breaking down everything, how it was such bullshit. TD, TD's video as well talked about it no he couldn't like, even watch it terrible and just the manipulation and playing the victim card like when i put out my l hype tweet and he put out all he did like feel bad for chris whatever like it's just it's such a joke and knowing knowing how it really is like it makes it's that's why we're all talking about this stuff because it hurts knowing what the truth is and then the fake agenda they put out being believed by kids like that doesn't sit well with us like we want to know we want the, the we want the people to know what the truth is for ourselves so that we don't see like comments um like not knowing what's really going on and things up in the air and assumptions made for us to get stuff off our chest and for the people to know that they're literally being manipulated like these are just youtubers just trying to keep their image they're gonna say and do whatever they want they're not going to air out what they've done or else they wouldn't have platforms like and that's why i put out the l hype tweet on the night they won the stream streamies. It's like, I don't regret doing that. Because if you guys knew all that I knew, when there's more stuff I can't even talk about, then it's like, you wouldn't blame me. It's like, yeah, they don't deserve to be in that position. Like, they don't deserve to win that. Cash and Mitchell feel terrible that they're a part of this. They're great people. But the rest of them, like, no. They're very selfish and just doing it for the money. And it wouldn't be such a big deal that they're doing it for the money and trying to retire off this stuff. But it, it's the fact that they paint it like they're not, and they're good people. And it's like, that's where it's aggravating. And I'm not having it. I'm not having some fake agenda go out there about why I left, what happened to me. Like, no, I'm saying the truth. And I'm putting a lot on the line, too, to tell the truth. You guys have no idea how much I walked away from to say this. And I'll never forgive Chris and Zach for turning Jesser into the person he is. Like, he's lived with them for too long. And, like, I couldn't, like, I feel pain in myself as a friend that... I couldn't do more for him and help him out but between chris zach and james like i there's nothing i could do really i mean i i, I probably could have done more but i just have to accept it and move on and just know i can't do anything now dude like do you hear the words that this guy is saying right now bro Like, this dude has nothing to gain from just saying bullshit. Which I'm sure they'll concoct some reason. Oh, he's trying to do this for fucking clout. That's all they, it's all, all, all they can say is money and clout and all this shit. Bro. He, he's saying this shit, bro, and it's like, oh my god, bro. It, this is just fu this is just fucked to think about, bro. And hope after this that they stop treating people so terribly and they talk to people with respect. Every single person should be talked to with respect by these guys. Say that again. Guys, stop. Why is everyone trolling? You told me to watch this and all you're doing is typing cock. And I said concoct. That's not... A... Hurt anymore. Like, knowing how they talk to, like, editors and people that are helping them out. And, like, it's, it's just... It needs to stop. And it's like, how did I stay a part of the group for so long with all this stuff happening? It's because I numb myself. Uh, you guys don't know this about me, but I need to make things 
combined my two lives. I've been living this mopey life, and then I have Tyler, my life, that I've been numbing myself and hurting myself for a while. And, um, yeah, I've been abusing uh, the sauce, the devil's lettuce. I'm not saying the word for demonetization or whatever. But, yeah, I've been abusing that, nicotine, and in the past year, alcohol, like, really badly. And it got so bad this year, and I tried to quit so many times. I tried to get help. Um, you know, I put like this text and like, this is a great example of the kind of support these guys offer as friends, um, talking about starting a drinking problem and stopping it and just trying to get better. And then everybody only has time to just, just like it, like just thumbs up, not a single word of encouragement or anything. Just a heads up to you guys from prayer. I'm taking another week off from recording personal channel videos for myself and others starting Sunday. I'm down to be in your video Sunday cash, but after that. Just to wipe stuff. I've already quit the vape, stopped the drinking problem. I was developing and sorting out a lot of tax and bank stuff that's been put off. Much more to do, but ready to get back into it after this one more week of preparing. Just a, just a thumbs up. Can we get a thumbs up in the chat? Get a little thumbs up. Again, when you see this kind of shit... It's just like paints a picture of just how people just are behind the scenes. And TD showed messages and he showed messages that were never supposed to be seen by anybody, but got leaked. Um, and it's like, you, I hope that you see like the real shit. But this is fucked. Anything. Um, and just goes back to talking about video shit. And it's like, okay, cool, great support. And then we got Jesser over here immediately texting me after once he sees that for me to be in his sponsored video. Like I hadn't talked about these issues I've been having. And then he doesn't even acknowledge it. He just asked me to be in his sponsored video. And then he says, thank you. Then I say one more thing to try to get some acknowledgement. And then he just says, proud of me. If I hadn't say that one, if I hadn't said that one text before or after thank you, it would have conversation would have ended and I didn't hear anything in person like there's they did not no one cared about Tyler like it was only Mopey if Mopey could show up for videos and it's like it's it's sick it's not it's not real friends I'm a person that was like it, it, I'm out of there I'm not being a part of it so things got so bad with me I had no support couldn't quit that I went into rehab I went into a place in LA for 25 days it was October 21st that I got sober I've been sober since um, I'm not counting the days I'm trying to challenge myself to do a year but it's been really tough and since getting sober sober I realized like I'm not being around these people because they contributed to me using like they do that stuff themselves and they treat me terrible so like it's not a good environment for me I'm not being around that environment I want to be healthy I want to stay sober like so I'm staying away from them. I'd hope to never see them again. While I was not enti entirely open with how bad things were for me, they'll say like they, they didn't know and I just kept to myself. It's like if anybody- no Wait, I want to rewind this. People, because they contributed to so much challenge myself to do a year, but it's been really tough. And since getting sober, sober I realized like I'm not being around these people because they contributed to me using. Like they do that stuff themselves and yeah, I was gonna say, like, it's like, dude, like, you're trying to make this dude seem like he's like a mental patient. Meanwhile, all he's done is, sm is smoke weed and drink, which is literally legal, and I'm sure all of them do the same thing. So it's like, how the fuck? How the fuck are you trying to make this dude seem like an insane person? Like what? And then he and then he, he even recognized it and wanted to go and get and and completely get sober. And they treat me terrible. So like it's not a good environment for me. I'm not being around that environment. I want to be healthy. I want to stay sober. Like so I'm staying away from them. I'd hope to never see them again. While I was not entirely open with how bad things were for me, they'll say like they, they didn't know and I just 
kept to myself. It's like if anybody, nobody, I said I was taking breaks and I wouldn't upload and I wouldn't be around for weeks and like months on end and no one checked on me for like months and months. And like my living situation, my hallway was so bad. Just everybody walks by it and thinks nothing of it. Like what I, what's going on in my room and like what I'm doing to myself in my room. It's like, it got so bad with my hallway that it could be pitch, it could be pitch black dark. And I memorized where to step to not step on shit and get to my room. Like, and I don't want to blame my, my living situation and how I was treating myself on them. But I'm not having it go out there that they were supportive of me or trying to help me. Like, it was just me. Like, and something that re really stood out to me as a good person was um, Jeff, actually. He and I were talking, and he asked me twice, how's it going? Because the first time, it's just the typical good. You know, I'm not going to just unload everything if somebody asks me how it's going. So he asked again, and sincerely he asked. And I told him. And then he's like, let me help you. Let's move the stuff out of your hallway. That's a really big thing if you're just living in, like, shit for so long. You can't, like, obviously you're going to be depressed and in a really bad place. I was like, nah, not tonight. He he said, no, we're doing it tonight. Like, you know you're not doing anything. Let's move the stuff. One night, we moved everything out of my hallway, which has been like that for months and months and months and months. In one day, or one night, somebody that really wanted to see me do better and be better and be in a better place made that happen. And it's like, that's a real friend. That's who I'm going to go try to be around. Not these YouTube like gods that think they just whatever dude like no like i'm i'm getting out of there and, and jesse wants to go online and say i'm fighting serious demons like no they're the only demons i'm fighting those guys because they're trying to paint me out to be mentally unstable because i went to bro that's some fucking shit right there bro that's some shit he was like you guys are the only demons i'm fighting Bro, that's fuck. How, like, how bad was Mopey's treat? And, like, he, he even said, he can't even say all this shit that he wants to say. How bad did he, was he made to feel there? And, like, how bad was he treated and all this shit? That they're literally, those are his demons. Like, that's fucked up. To, like, rehab? Because I was using those substances that are legal in my state. Like, I can smoke and I can drink and I could use nicotine products and they're trying to paint me out as crazy for that stuff like I don't like it it's a joke to mental illness and that they like care and it's just such a joke and it makes me sick honestly it's like yeah they care about me so much but they're screwing me over on the business side and sending me cease and desist letters and doing what they're doing online talking about me like like I just want to move on from this chapter of my life and have people know what's really going on behind the scenes, how they treat people. It's crazy to think that, dude, if, if, if they handled it differently, he might not even have made this video, bro. Like, do you understand this? Like, they literally sent him a cease and desist. Jesser goes online saying bullshit, saying he's fighting demons, you're fueling someone who's not okay. There's all these statements, all, uh, shit that Ellis came to me. Bro, you literally... Like, um, like, forced him to do this. Because you already started with the making up bullshit. You already started with the lot spreading lies. People and what they've done to other people. Like, again, Los, TD, Mal, Walker. Walker was done really bad, too. I was, I was, I thought Walker did something wrong. But he's a good person. Walker is a good person that has been done wrong and just gets like, just trashed on because they made him out to be like a bad person and it just sucks. And I'm I feel shitty that I was a part of it, but I'm I'm out and I'm just glad that I can talk about stuff and I did not sign anything keeping me from doing that. Like here's some text from Chris about the manipulation of, of Los to the group and especially like to me like I had to stop being friends with Los. Okay, guys, this is, this is, this is what I've been waiting for this whole stream. This is, I've been waiting for this all stream.
this is the group after I'm out of the group I believe this is if I'm going by the dates I'm I believe this is when I went on that stream and said like I'm not cool with them anymore um I think that was it right because it was my I, I remember it was around the time that I was I had the slides for sale and it was the summer and I remember I was on vacation and and okay I think this is literally around that time like maybe within a week I don't know maybe days I don't know here we go let's read this text yo guys I hate to bring this up again but I just want to be clear and upfront with everyone that I no longer wish to speak or talk about Los online or off like any interaction I'm unfollowing on all platforms next week when this dies down. The shit he just said to me in conversation. I personally will look at anyone in the group differently. If you guys engage in any sort with him online or offline. Anything. This is my favorite part. But he's talked about all of you. And then look, look how, look how... This is meant to trick. Look how he wrote this. But he's talked about all of you. Literally, Cash Mopey, I hope you know he's using you. I'm using Cash and Mopey. For what? what? How the fuck? I'm not even in the group. I'm already kicked out of the group. This is a grown man trying to tell other people to not speak to me online or offline, like in their own personal life. Yeah, don't talk to them offline. I will look at you different if you engage with him online or offline. Bro, fuck the cockpool, bro. I I literally have a fucking entire resort in this dude's head. Why is he so like he's so trying to like erase me from everyone, from people? He's tr he literally has been trying to like erase me from the internet for over a year, 2 years. Trying to get me to not be friends with people. Trying to get people to look at me different. Who knows, dude? Who else he said some shit about, uh, about me? I'm thinking about other YouTubers, uh, other people. Um, I, I, I hope to God not other companies, but I wouldn't be surprised. Like, who knows? And Moby's like, can you explain what he said that made you look at him different? Cash is like, I just want to clear this up, man. I don't care what he thinks he got. Just wants this to be done over with. Keep looking forward. So, when I read this, this to me just seems like Cash is like confused or something. Because I guess he quickly read this and thinks like that I'm like, trying to expose cash or something because he's like he's talked about all of you literally cash from mopey so i guess he was and by the way chat, i've never seen these texts until mopey made this video a day ago i've never seen these texts so when i first saw this it pissed me off so fucking bad bro um but look how he worded this it's like manipulation to your own friends too not only is he trying to manipulate the audience and other people, but your own friends. He's talked about all of you. Who the fuck are you talking about? I, I had a, a, a problem with you and the old guy talking fucking shit. Let's see. About the manipulation of Los to the group and like to me, like I had to stop. That's the problem, Cash. You're feeding him the more you interact with him. I'm taking the high road and don't wish or care to know what was said about us to him, but just know he's not good friend. 
Say the high road, I don't wish or care to know what was said about us to him. Dude. So basically, he's admitting here that, oh, people know, like, what we've said about him. And, like, I don't care if you guys, like, told him. Like, I don't care how he knows. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And this is what I said since the day one. That people have told me. Mo this I'm talking about, like, over, like, five, six, seven people. Okay? And I'm not even talking about the group. But, like, multiple people have told me, like, the shit that they've said about me, bro, when I'm not there. So he's sitting here, he's like, oh, like, I don't care, we should know what was said about us to him. It's like, okay. Because you know what you've said about me. And then him threatening to use the conversations had with Mopey and Cash to make you guys and the group look bad to clear his name is his intention. I love how he's like, oh my god, he's trying to use Mopey and Cash to make you guys look bad. No, it's, dude, Okay, guys, guys. This is so fucking, like, manipulative. All right. If someone... If, if, if Let's say Mopey is like, hey, someone said this about you or something, right? Let's just, let's just say that as an example. You know, let's not even use Mopey. Let's use random people. Let's say fucking Billy, um, fucking Mystic, and Big Boob, right? Let's say Big Boob told Billy, he was like, yo, Mystic's talking shit about you. Big Boob told Billy, right? Then this dude, then the fucking dude who was talking shit tries to make everyone like, that was such a, like, I, I literally lost my train of thought because this doesn't work with three people. Like, that example was bad. Um, just erase that from your mind. Like, if I had, like, the, like, the, uh, if I had the, if I had the men in black thing, I would, I would literally use that right now. Um, all right. So, dude, yeah. So, basically... Um, he's, yeah, he's just trying to make it seem like them telling me shit is, 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 you know, making them look bad. It, it, that's basically what it was. My bad. Billy, Boob, and, uh, Mystic. My bad, guys. My bad. I tried. I'm sorry. Um, if Zach doesn't give a real apology or delete his tweets. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Um, I'm, I, I specifically remember this. I remember that... They, uh, they, like, had, like, I think they had, like, Mopey call me or something while they, like, it was so obvious, bro. Like, he's talking about, <laughs> he's talking about me using Mopey. They used Mopey because they knew that Mopey was cool with me. And I remember that it was, he was talking to me and they were all, like, in a room huddled together or something, like, listening to the conversation. Um, and this was when I said I'm not cool with them. And the old dude went on Twitter saying like, "Oh my God, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to reveal the truth. Like I, I, I'm done. Like, like saying like all this shit." And and I'm I'm sitting there like I know the truth. Like we know the truth. You you talk shit, all this shit. I said I don't fuck with you guys now. So this thing about if Zach doesn't give a real apology to delete his tweets, because he was literally threatening me. He was threatening to go online and say shit. And I know he's going to fucking lie. So I'm like, bro, if you do that shit, like, um, I guess it's what LSK is referring to. I guess what he's referring to. Um, but then, and then he was like, and then what I just said, and what I just said, don't talk to him about it because it won't make any, make it better. Um, yeah. So basically guys, like I'm telling you all this, but listen, no one saying, say this to him though. I'm just letting you know, Friday, Fortnite, any reaction toward him online, all that, no bueno. Like, dude. Like, literally, you're telling Mopey not to play Friday, Fortnite with me anymore. Or, you, or what, is he kicked out the group too? Huh. 
And then again, this is I, when I read this, I see someone confused. Cash is like, I never talked down to anyone personally in the group, so whatever he says is false. Dude, he's reading this. The tall one is literally making Cash think that I'm like talk, like talking shit about Cash. When in reality, all it is is he's scared that other people told me what's really going on. And he doesn't want me to like say it. I hope I explain these good. I, I know that whole like Bob or, or Billy and boob situation. I, I apologize for that, but I hope I explain these good because this is, this is fucked up, man. And the fact I didn't know about this either. And cash never unfollowed me. Um, which I respect, but after reading this, I'm like, damn, I don't know if he thought differently of me. I don't know if he, if he thinks differently of me. I don't know. He, he could literally think completely different of me now. I don't know. Being friends with Lowe's. I'm very happy that I can talk to him again and I'm not being controlled by some dude. So yeah, it's just. Bro, are you still talking to Lowe's? No, I'll show you text why. Just wondering because he texts Jess, I guess. No point responding to him anymore. Bro. So not only did, did I get kicked, but then I find out my two friends are talking shit about me for years. And then they try to turn everyone against me. Dude, I, now I understand why he loves to say like, oh, I'm acting cool and you think you're all cool, all this shit. Dude, he really thinks I'm cool as fuck. Like he really, like, I'm not kidding, bro. Like he really thinks I'm cool as fuck. Like now it's all making sense. It's all making sense now. You know? I, 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 I know how many years... I mean, we've seen the old, the old cringe shit. Like we've seen how how long he's been trying to, you know, become, you know, like famous or something, or like, you know, get like internet cloud or whatever, right? And uh, I, <laughs> I guess he really, I guess he really thinks that that I'm cool and, you know. He sees how, how much love, like, you guys show and all this shit. I just feel like I was getting hated on, bro. I literally feel like I was getting hated on, bro. I feel, I feel like I was getting preyed on. I was getting hated on. And I think it was both of them. Just hating on me. It's crazy how you could have millions of followers and all this shit. But no true, like, supporters. No true, like, fans. I hate that word. But, like, you can have all this shit, but you don't have genuine love. And I guess that's what they wanted. They saw I have it. <laughs> and... You you can see, like, how badly, like... Isn't there some phrase about this? When you can't... It's something about you try to just change how people see you or something. It, there's some phrase about this. Someone's got the phrase. But it's, like, something about, like, when you can't do something, you make try to make other people look at you different. I don't, it's some, it's some, some, someone has it. Someone knows the phrase. I don't know. But I feel like that's just what it... Like, I literally was just being, like, just shit on. And, like, behind the scenes.
I don't know. It's called being... What? Guys, can someone time out this guy who keeps talking about the NFL draft? When you can't control someone's image of you, you control who you at. Wait. No, that's not it. That's not the phrase. I don't know. But yeah, I just, I feel like I was just getting fucking just hated on, bro. And, and I was, bro. <laughs> like, I was. Just, like, like, it's just dumb. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm going to be going over some of the terrible tweets that have been put out by these guys because they need to be talked about and just goes to show, like, just how ridiculous it is. Um, starting out, I want to clarify this one about Chris talking about hiring security and him putting that out there without this explanation just leading people to believe that he had to hire security because of me or whatever like, I dude when i saw that I, I i asked mopey about it and i was like oh okay okay like like he literally made it seem like mopey is like some out of control wild person that's like on the verge of like you know like um being like an axe murderer or something but like listen to what actually happened i don't know just to play the victim card so the reason that chris hired security was because my dad i had a talk with my dad and i told him everything that has gone on and my dad sat down with our manager at the time my ex-manager and he told he told him and he threatened chris like that's that's a dad like i wish he didn't do that that's not okay but it's my dad just being protective of me like knowing what this dude has done to me and like i'm not gonna lie well i might listen i'm not gonna say my dad would do the exact same thing i think my dad would make a phone call but that's a different story um but the um this is someone's dad. He, he he tells his dad what has happened, and it's a dad being like, "Yo, fuck you!" Like whatever, like whatever, whatever the threat was, whatever the fuck. That's all it was. But you're made out to believe like, "Oh shit, Mo Mopey's like a like a like a threat." It's like, bro, come on, bro. It's like that's fucked up. It's my dad just being protective of me, like knowing what this dude has done to me and mistreated me when my dad shook Zach and Chris's hands, that he trusted them to be the older guys and that I'd be not going to college and living with these guys and these older guys and to like be responsible and take care of me in a way. And they not only did not, they did, they did not do that, but they contributed to the bullshit. So yeah, my dad was pissed. And he threatened Chris. Like, bad. It's not good, but he wouldn't hurt anyone. But that's what happened with that. And then more of the victim card. Joke's on me, I guess. SMH. Right? Yeah. And then um, the one about, like, acting like he was there for me more than anyone else in his life. Hmm. That sounds pretty familiar to Jesser's tweet saying he was there for me more than anyone it's else. It's like, dude, it's like, why do they just automatically just, sit, like just dispute like automatic everything in his life as well right they're both there for me more than anyone yeah mm -hmm. let me let me put out these oh when they can't control you they try to control others see you that's the phrase i was talking about yeah good shit uh vice good shit that's what i was talking about and that's true if you if bro please get away from people like that bro but the thing is, with people like that, you don't know they're doing it. That's the thing that's fucked. You don't know that they're doing it. You don't know. So that, that's why it's like, bro, I'm so grateful that I found out. I, I'm so grateful I saw, saw the text. And I'm so grateful that people were actually man enough to tell me what was going on behind the scenes. And what was being said about me for fucking years. Tweets showing messages of me reaching out to him and sending him videos to listen to or whatever and checking in, checking in. Like, no, it's a joke. 
Same thing for Jesse. If he try Chester, if he tries to put out anything like of him sending me shit, like, oh yeah, I've been extremely down. Let me just listen to this thing and I'll be all good. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what he's talking about with the block stuff. Like, I got blocked by him and Jidel like weeks and weeks before. Literally haven't slept because I still can't fathom what's happening. When you're blocked, it makes you unfollow the person too for your information. I'm getting made out to be someone I'm really not. I usually keep things private, even when it makes me look bad, but stop spreading lies. November 23rd. Guys, this happened in like mid-December. This happened like a couple weeks ago. This tweet right here. Mopey's blocked in November. And Shidel blocked him? What's with the blocking? Dude, I dude, since since getting kicked, I haven't blocked any of them. Literally. I've been blocked, unblocked, followed, unfollowed. Blo this is the most, like, this is the dumbest shit ever, bro. Four. So he blocked me first. I don't know what he's talking about. Speaking of Jidel, we're going to talk about his terrible tweets. Los had a great response to any emoji that fit perfectly. To <laughs> oh, man. I fucking love Mopey. All you guys do is lie and contradict yourselves. Like, shut the fuck up when you all group FaceTime me. Yeah. And I'm still wondering, can I still be in the box? Because I still want to get in that. So, it's been a couple weeks. I haven't got a response yet. Fingers crossed, though. I still want to get in this. If we can figure this out. I don't know if we need to, if I need a contact, if I need to email, but let's figure this out. The tweets that were put out by Jadel and how terrible they were. Like, he's saying group payments are larger with more people. No, they're not. If we're doing a brand deal on the channel, they're not paying. They're not going to pay more because there's nine people instead of six. They're going to pay, like, let's say 100K. That 100K is split amongst six people instead of nine. So the six people get way more. Uh, same thing with ad revenue. We get that split amongst six people instead of nine people. How? Yeah, like, bro, I don't understand, like... And I'm blocked by by the robot, so I don't know if I'm if, if those tweets are still up. But if they're still up, that's disgraceful that they're still up. How can you even try to like who what age demographic are you trying to convince that you're somehow gonna make more money if there's nine people in the group instead of six? Like what age demographic are you are you are you shooting for below ten years old? Like, are you shooting below people that have even started math class yet? I, I, I don't know who, who, like. It, like, no, it was business. It was business for money. And he wants to say he's so selfless in such a, it's his passion and he's, he's, not, he's not doing it for the money. Then why couldn't he give up 1% for Mitchell? Ooh, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. Huh? Nobody could. Nobody wanted to. Chris, Chris even like, like he, like he laughed and not laughed, but he was like, "That's all you, dude. If you want to do that, it's like, like this, this shit is not a friendship. It's not cool. It's, it's a business. Don't try to play it off like it's not a business. And you guys aren't greedy. Like, goddamn, that's what's so frustrating about this. And then Chris is more Chris's tweets after he deleted everything and just wants everybody to move on and forget. I won't be entertaining any negativity. These are the these are the worst, bro. These are the worst. Won't be entertaining any negativity moving forward, even if people wish to do so on my name for their personal gain. I'm going to say this again. If I have to keep saying this a million times, I'm going to keep saying it. Nobody is using your name for personal gain. I don't know where this, this idea came from in your head i don't know if people are hyping you up uh i don't know if this is like upper management i don't know what this is bro bro nobody's using your name 
To the fans, I apologize for sugarcoating things in the past, but I don't wish to comment on anything more right now. Life is short. Let's focus on ourselves. It's like, oh, yeah, no, I get exposed, but, like, no, no, guys, like, chill. Like, I don't, nah, I just want to, like, let's just not talk about it. Like, I got exposed. But like nah, like I, like no, like we don't need to like go like let's just life is short, bro. Blah blah. blah. D d to the fans, I apologize for sugarcoating. He's literally sugarcoating right there. Life is short. Let's focus on ourselves. Yeah, I'm just gonna be. Wait, low relax. He's a change man. Chat, my bad. I forgot. He's changed since these tweets from 13 days ago. He has changed. So let's all move on. Everybody move on. We're all moving on together. Okay? I don't want to see any negativity. Life is short. Why, why is there a flex thing there? Terrible person and life is short, guys. Just forget about it. Just everyone move on. Focus on yourself. If you try to comment about it, you're just going to get blocked. You're just gonna get blocked, and I'm just gonna carry on with my life, and just keep being good, and just doing what I'm doing. Like it, it's so frustrating. That's how that's how YouTube works. That's how the online scene works. Like they just block out the hate, and they just carry on. Like uh, check this out. These are the blocked words on. Oh man, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Ha! Ah, I've been waiting to get to this part, bro. What? How long we've been live? Almost four hours. I've been waiting four hours for this. I've been waiting four hours for this, bro, because there's a lot of things I want to say about this. Number one, when we were kicked, right, nobody could ask questions. No one could be like, oh, I miss Lowe's. Like, I miss TD. I miss my... You can't say that. You could not say anything. And this was, this was like, when we got kicked. So you can't say Mal, you can't say any form of Mal, you can't say Tub, Tub, Tubby, Tubs, Gibby. Are you kidding me with this shit? You don't even want people to say Tubs? And this is the, this is the, the Too Hype channel. So I was never even on it. So it's not, they can't be like, oh no, we didn't want like Los to get hate. No, I was not even in any of the videos. This is when I got kicked and you made a group channel. So this is just so you, no one can say my name. And it's so bad to the point where you can't even call me Tubbs. Like, they don't even want me to getting that attention. Premieres, premiering, premiere. I mean, you can see the, the IQ of the people watch, watching these premieres. Prem, what the hell spelling is this? What the fuck am I reading right now? Anyway, stop, quit, kick. The two ape channel, it's a lot of shit. You kicking, kicked, side men, side men, side men, fake side men. Stole, fake, copy, copy to rip off L. Guys, do you know how many? And I, and dude, I trust me, I've been doing research for the last two weeks. I, I truly did not give a fuck about them or their channel or anything they did. So I've been, I've been looking at their shit. Dude, all their videos are literal ripoffs of Sidemen videos that already happened. They're just all just recycled, copied concepts. So do you know how many people commented about the Sidemen that they had to block this shit out, bro? L, of course, L hype is blocked. Of course. You can't comment anything. Cringe. <laughs> That's, this one's funny. Dude, L hype is blocked twice. Fake, fake hype. TD, Los, Lewis, Ma oh, more Mal. Walker, Woofy. Negative. They it's Walker, that Walker, Two Face, Kick, Tim. T presents auditions, money sellout. Dude, bro, they're just trying to cover up everything they've done. 
they don't allow any negative negative sellouts friend friends you can't say friends you can't say the word friend clown clowns walmart how many times do you think they got called the walmart sidemen for this for to block walmart bro original snake clown clown twice because you know hella clowns clown snake shady shit talking shit i think that was you guys i think you guys were in the comments like yo you were talking shit i think i think you guys are solely the reason talking shit is 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 on here good job uh miss og old one <laughs> boring trash i mean yeah yeah i would delete that too activity it's like i'm not being a kenny 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 what's wrong with kenny what's up with kenny who wh which kenny is this oh is that walker oh okay Trump politics racist Donald Donald Trump Donnie Who the hell was commenting Donnie Trump Repetitive same same questions Bruh You can't even like give like a criticism to like um improve like the video in a way of like okay Let's say they're doing another challenge thing. It's like, oh, dude, you're doing the same questions. You can't even say that. So next time they do new questions, you can't even say that. Part of the censorship of the people. Lame, boring shit. Repeat ad. <laughs> dude, my dude, my, I need a, I need a drink because my fucking throats. I'm laughing too much. <coughs> I haven't talked this much in a while. <coughs> Ugh ads holy ads <laughs> oh my god dude i got youtube red so i don't know like are there really holy ads on the video i'm sure there are what am i even asking right now i'm sure there are skip unsub unsubscribe mid roll rolls mid rolls paid ads sponsors amp mopey see mopey and Tyler, that's fucked up this dude is literally a part of the channel like what? And then he actually says when they blocked it. Um, but I guess A and P. They're just like, oh, that's like a competitor, so let's block them out and not, and make them invisible to the world. You know. Let's 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 make them. You know. No one can be like, oh, dude. AMP vids are fire. Like, no, nah, you can't. Nah, nah, you can't. Hey, hold on. We got a $50 donation from Sub Zero. Hey, Lux, just want to ask would they be pissed if you were to play basketball against Cash or something like that? By the way, love you, bro. And your dad can't wait to see him and you again. You're both amazing. Hey, thank you, bro. Um, Would they be mad? I'm sure they'd be mad if me and Cash like, hung out or did something i'm i'm sure I'm, I'm i'm dude i'm sure but the thing is like he they've never um cash has never put out any of those fake ass statements or like a uh, blocked me or anything like that so I, I i don't know like they can't they can't look at this mopey tyler mop tyler mopey bro you can't say mopey. You can't criticize when you there's you get blocked and you just it's so dumb. It's nothing I want to be a part of. What was really tough actually was my name was added to the blocked word list when I was in rehab. When a hundred thieves joined two eight, my name was added to the blocked words and they put that out there or they did that when. They
they said that I was taking time off from videos. It's like they were just tired. Like I don't know if they were just tired of people seeing saying where's Mopey, but they literally added me to that. You you got guys. You understand this, bro? You understand this? This dude is trying to better his literal life. This is no YouTube shit. This is his life. And you're banning his word. You're banning his name from being in the comments of a group that he is a part of. He he's literally owns a percentage. How do you own a percentage and someone else can just decide to block your name? Dude, this happened to me. You can't comment me at any of their channels. You can't. I'm, I'm erased from all those people. I'm erased. You can't comment. But the old, the, all the videos of me are, are still up. All the videos are still up. Because they still make money off those. Those are still all up. But you can't talk about me. And in those videos, you can't talk about me anymore. Same with TD. And same with Mopey. And same with all those other people. Walker, everyone else that was mentioned. Mal. Like, that didn't feel good. And amongst other things, like seeing Chris, like, say no to Nate shot when he brought up my name and the way Chris said it was such an like a F you way. It's like, if anyone has a clip of that, I want to watch that. Cause I don't know what he's talking about with that. I would love to see that. Check DMS. All right. Yeah, that's, that's at least 10 ads. Search it up. But I don't know where I would go in the video. So if you guys know where that is, just screen record it and just tweet it at me and I'll play it. And just more nasty, weird stuff that I saw in... Re Put this out about himself while I was in rehab. If your friends don't lift you up, get new friends. What the fuck? He had made my decision of leaving much, much easier because that's a big reason why I went to rehab. I wanted to get sober and decide if I wanted to be a part of stuff or not. And I saw a lot and thought about so much. 740? Go to 740? On top. Of Go to 740. Okay. Seven twenty. It felt like the perfect storm when you yeah. sent me a message because I was always elated. I was I was always happy to see you guys show up to the parties mm -hmm. because I, and I've said this behind cameras as well. I, I consider you guys to be like OGs of YouTube. I mean, you've been doing YouTube since twenty twelve when you were fourteen years old. I I don't even know exactly when you started, but I've always seen you around. Mm -hmm. And Cash, I've I, I've always had a ton of respect for and his yeah. hustle and his drive and his story. And really getting to know Zach and and Mitchell and your brother Jidel and mm -hmm. am I missing anybody else? No. Uh, that and well, I met Mopey, Mopey for yeah, a little bit. Right. Yeah, I you guys, I just damn, he, damn, he like said no and then was like, wait, wait, that might sound like too. Let me let me just let me just be like, no, 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 no yeah, Mopey, yeah. Zach and and Mitchell and your brother Jidel and. Mm -hmm. Am I missing anybody else? No. Uh, he wanted that to just end right there, like the conversation right there. But then watch. That and well, I meant Mopey. Mopey. Yeah, see. Man, hey, Mopey, 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 uh, caught that. I guess. Damn, bro. Damn. <sighs> 
much that I made a, it was a very easy decision to leave. So since leaving, I've been just at my mom's house. I have not been doing very much. I'm going to be trying to get back into the YouTube stuff, but it's motivation has been really bad. Like this stuff has made me like consider walking away from YouTube just because I am, I like, I don't, I'm not going to, I want to, I want to stay strong and make content and happily get back into it. But yeah, being around these guys, my passion has been completely just like just destroyed. Like it's not, it has not been fun. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it, but I think there's a lot that you guys can take away from this situation. And I'm really, I'm really bummed that, you know, a lot of people are probably gonna be um, like bummed that these are the people they watch for so long and look up to. But overall, it, it should be talked about just to show like you got to be you got to be good pe like just be good people like you you don't want to make it to the top by being a bad person and even even chasing the money and the clout like you 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 could definitely lose yourself like do not chase that stuff and lose yourself like be good people treat others with respect like don't don't get a big head because you you have an online presence or you have a lot of money like it's just it changes people and it's such a bummer it's very like i've even changed i don't like how i've changed with these guys like the saying birds of a feather flock together is 100 percent true you the people you're around are a representation of you so i do not want to be around those people and i just hope that you guys yourselves just be be good happy caring people and don't take advantage of other people don't lie and manipulate Treat us, just treat us with respect. You, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. I think I encourage you guys to just work on yourselves and find what you want to do to be happy, care for the people around you. And um, I think, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know what's to come for 2021, but let's all hope that it's better than this year. And um, I hope to not make any more videos on the subject. If they say some bullshit i'm going to call it out and talk about it and Good that's, shit. that's it but i really hope to move on from this these chapters of my life and i would appreciate just you know the respect of you guys knowing that i've i've been through a lot of these guys and i don't care to have any interaction with them online anymore moving forward and yeah i i appreciate you guys messages i there's so many messages trying to support me during these times and i like I can't get back to all of them, but I really appreciate you guys, and just Love looking you. forward to providing you guys with some good content next year. Not sure when that's gonna be, but thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. And Mopey out. And I gotta say this too, bro. The amount of messages I've got too is like. People saying shit like, dude, I thought you were a piece of fucking shit. Um, they like made me like, I hate you and, and all this shit. And then people being like, bro, you were right. Like all this shit. Um, it's just like weird to see, bro. It's just like weird to see. Um, but yeah, that was me. The lemon. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. But yeah, good ass, good ass video for Mopey. Um, it it takes a lot of uh. It takes a lot of like courage to like even like say shit like this. Like, 